Salt marshes are among the most productive habitats in the world. They perform a wide variety of vital services and are a principal feature of the Delaware estuary. Due to the shelter, food, breeding grounds, nesting sites, and nursery space they provide, these coastal wetlands serve as home and sojourn to many commercial and recreational species of mammals, birds, fish, and shellfish. Additionally, salt marshes attenuate wave energy and provide a buffer to coastal communities from storm surge and sea level rise flooding, as their porous soils help to soak up and store water like a sponge. Healthy salt marshes improve our water quality by capturing and filtering out pollutants and are also extremely efficient carbon sinks. Salt marsh plants sequester atmospheric carbon dioxide and then store it in their biomass and sediments, where, if left undisturbed, can remain for thousands of years. These and many other benefits that positively contribute to human health, safety, and well-being, such as recreation, tourism, and aesthetic and cultural experiences, are identified as ecosystem services. When salt marsh systems are degraded, the services provided are diminished or lost, and the viability and safety of animals and humans is jeopardized. Therefore, it is critical that these ecosystems remain unimpaired, protected, and in many cases restored, so that they can continue to provide these essential services. Typically, Salt marshes are resilient ecosystems that recover naturally from disturbances. However, persistent degradation weakens their resiliency to the point where they may succumb to the pressures and stresses imposed upon them. Salt marsh health and endurance is dependent on a variety of interactive characteristics, such as how they are eroding, expanding, or being squeezed by upland development, how they are growing vertically, what lives on them? What lives in them? How water moves through them and across them? The soil they are growing on? And the chemistry of the surrounding water body? When some of these characteristics become out of balance through either natural or human impacts, their health and the services they provide can be diminished or lost. Worldwide, salt marsh extent is diminishing and in the Delaware estuary, we are currently experiencing a net loss of one acre per day. However, some salt marshes are more vulnerable to accelerated loss than others based on the current state of these characteristics and how these characteristics continue to change. Although we have many tools and data products to look at each individual characteristic, until recently, we have been without a standardized way to gauge the state of all these attributes together to form a holistic diagnosis of the overall condition and health of the salt marsh. Herein lies the value of a watch. So what is watch and what can it do for us? WATCH stands for Wetland Assessment Tool for Condition and Health. It's a comprehensive framework that unites and evaluates site-specific data from a variety of attributes that have been shown to be the foundation to proper salt marsh functioning. WATCH also delivers a summary of deficiencies within the site, as they are today and how they are changing into tomorrow. To provide an analogy, when we aren't feeling well, we go to the doctor. We tell the doctor the various symptoms we are experiencing. The doctor evaluates our list of symptoms collectively and delivers a diagnosis based on all of our symptoms, not just a single one. Similarly, when evaluating the condition of a salt marsh, it is important to look at all aspects of its health, not just a single one. If we only evaluate a single attribute of marsh health, we may miss other important evidence that a comprehensive evaluation would uncover. For example, 
envision a marsh with bare patches without vegetation. We may become alarmed and assume that the vegetation is dying off and decide to investigate. Perhaps we evaluate the elevation and find that the vegetation is positioned suitably. Then we look for signs of destructive animal burrowing or tunneling, but we don't find any. At this point, we may conclude that the bear patch may just be a natural feature called a pan and unrelated to any marsh degradation or deterioration. However, if we evaluate further, we may find that the soils are not draining appropriately and are excessively saturated. If we had not assessed this attribute, we may have decided that no intervention was necessary, which may have led to further loss of vegetation. On the other hand, we may have tried planting even more vegetation, which would ultimately perish without the proper drainage. Since we cannot be experts in every area of salt marsh health, we may not be able to envision all of the factors to investigate on our own. WATCH provides the structure to guide us through a holistic evaluation. WATCH specifically focuses on the evaluation of current and future vulnerabilities in salt marsh habitats and considers six main attributes known to affect salt marsh function hydrology, biology, soil condition, water chemistry, horizontal position, and vertical position. For all six attributes, WATCH's metrics and methods align with other monitoring guidelines, such as the frameworks for developing monitoring plans for coastal wetland restoration and living shoreline projects in New Jersey and Delaware, and therefore will likely be familiar to many of its users. Now come with us as we peek inside the watch tool and get a better understanding of how it works. To use watch, a user selects a single metric that is representative of each attribute and enters the appropriate data. These data can come from new or previous monitoring efforts or outputs from other tools, models, reference sites, or the primary academic literature. As with all models, the outputs are dependent on the inputs, and identifying what and where you want to evaluate will help you select the appropriate scale of your data set. The user defines the appropriate criteria standard for each metric used by the tool to compare the data you collected from a site to forecasted values. If the rates of change for a metric are known, WATCH also calculates the anticipated changes associated with that rate. In the Delaware Estuary, we are lucky to have a variety of sources of long-term monitoring data for some of these attributes from our Mid-Atlantic Coastal Wetland Assessment Program. Please contact the Partnership of the Delaware Estuary for more information on these data sets. By empowering the user to select their criteria values, WATCH allows for immediate alignment with the variety of user-defined goals. So what type of outputs does WATCH deliver? For each attribute, WATCH evaluates the measured data against the criteria set by the user and flags violations where metrics fail to match the criteria. WATCH assesses all attributes holistically to identify unique combinations of violations that, together, exhibit characteristics of site-wide diminished functionality and flags these combinations as site-wide deficiencies. Where the evaluation suggests diminished functionality in one or more attributes, but the evidence is not strong enough to indicate site-wide deficiency, WATCH suggests continued monitoring of these attributes in addition to providing a list of associated attributes to keep an eye on. As an added bonus, WATCH provides interpretive guidance and a list of additional considerations to its users. Through this intricate and integrated framework, WATCH provides a holistic assessment of current and future salt marsh functions for your site. 
practitioners and natural resource managers can use WATCH to identify interacting factors that might contribute to marsh degradation at a single site or use outcomes among multiple sites to prioritize interventions. Once the source of impairment is identified, stakeholders will be better able to recommend a particular tactic that might be used to alleviate the impairment and to identify agencies and or practitioners that specialize in those efforts. WATCH provides a framework to integrate data from a multitude of amazing tools and monitoring efforts that evaluate specific attributes in great detail and then provides us with an overall view of the health of the salt marsh habitat. As salt marshes are critical and complicated habitats, it is vitally important that we understand and protect them. With the information that we can collect from WATCH, we are better able to make informed decisions regarding the management, protection, and enhancement of these valuable ecosystems. So next time you need to evaluate the current or future health of your salt marsh, watch it. <laughs>